Hello creative designers, I welcome you to my channel and I welcome you into today's tutorial video. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to design this beautiful birthday flyer in Adobe Photoshop. Now this birthday flyer might look simple but then it looks great and better, alright? So first of all, open your Adobe Photoshop and then give your flyer a name. So I am going to name mine Creative and then change the width to 8 and then change the height to 9 and then leave the units at inches and then click on create good now from here we are going to add some ruler guides to our work so go to view and then click on new guide and then change it to 10 percent and then click on ok go back again click on new guide and then change it to 90 percent and then click on ok now go back again and then click on new guide and then change it to 10 percent and then this time around toggle the vertical orientation and then click on ok now go back again new guide and then change it to 90 percent and click on ok now from here we are going to design our background so head over to your shape tool right click on it and then click on rectangle to right rectangle to and then draw a rectangular shape just like this good now head over to fx and then click on gradient overlay now we are going to use these two color codes so this is the left color code and then this is the right color code now click on ok and then make sure you leave your style as linear and then your angle should be at 90 degrees and then click on ok now from here select your shape layer and right click on it and then click on rasterize layer now head over to your eraser tool right click on it and then select the eraser tool all right and then get rid of the lower part like this all right so first of all we are going to bring in our first picture so go to your folder that contains your design resource and i'm going to leave a um, link or leave everything in the description of the video below so first let's drag and drop this image click on this guy now you can see that our picture here has some sort of background so we want to get rid of the background right now right click on the image layer and then click on rasterize layer now head over to the select and then click on subjects now this is going to take out the image and then leave the background cool. now that we have our image selected selected sorry in your keyboard press on control plus j all right now get rid of this delete this you want this all right so let's increase the image a bit so something like this good now head over to your eraser tool then select the eraser tool and get rid of this part because we don't want it. Good. Bring it up and so it. Great. Now let's go back and bring in our second image. This one, just drag and drop it. Click on this guy. Now let's resize it a little. Now with the second image selected on your keyboard press on control plus and then right click on the image and then click on flip horizontal and then click on this guy now let's put it somewhere here good this is good for me all right now that we've brought in our second image 
Now let's hold head over to our shape tool and then draw a shape like this. A rectangle shape. And then change this to 50% or less 50. Good. Now right click on it and then rasterize it. Now go to your lasso tool, right click on it and then click on polygonal lasso tool. Now let's trim out this part because we don't want it. Now on your keyboard, press on delete and then right click on it and then click on deselect. Awesome. Now let's go back to our folder and then drag and drop this our image. Now click on this guy here, then click on the image, then click on Master Right, right click on it again, and click on Create, click, click Master. Okay, now let's size it a little. Good. Now let's go back to our shape to begin. And draw another shape as small as this. Now let's bring it right here. And then click on this guy and then change this to 20. Now let's drag it right below this. Alright, now go back to your FX and then click on gradient to valley. Now we are using this color code here. So we use the first one and then this in the second color code. Now change the radial to linear and then click on OK. Alright. Now let's do some changes to this. Let's change the now and go to Minus 90, sorry. Minus 90. And then click on OK. Alright. Now let's head over and then draw another shared circle. Like this. Then drag it below the second image and then click on FX, click on video to value. And then this time I'll let's change the style to radial and then the minus 90 to 90 degrees. And then click on OK. Good. So from here, let's go back to no, first, let's draw another shape. Let's see the color to this. Right. Sorry. Click on OK. Go to FX. Click on Stroke. And decrease the size to array. OK. Good. Now click on your text to your text or dates so you have 24 zero four Shape two again, and then draw this shape, and then change the color to sorry, this okay. I'll go back to your text tool 
then add your text so this is going to be happy drag it on top of the ship just to size it a little bit okay now from here i'm going to add another text to it Alright, so now we've added our text, we've added our pictures. Now at this moment we are going to add our final um or last but not least this um, resource I have here. Good. And now right click on it, click on asterisk, grab your um, click on this tool here, right click on it and then click on rectangular mark to right now let's okay right click on it click on cut or layer via cut don't want this part so let's drag it to the trash good Now with um, this layer selected, go to the filter, then click on blur, and then select Gaussian blur, and then leave it as uh, 9.0 radius, and then click on OK. Now on your keyboard, press on Ctrl plus G to duplicate this resource, and then drag it right here. Good. Now we are going to bring in our next or our last resource as far as this birthday flyer is concerned so head over to your resource file or resource folder and then let's drag and drop this okay now let's change the color so right click on it and then click on rasterize layer and then click on effects and then click on color over now let's change the color so we are going to sample this color here, right? Then click on OK, click on OK. Let's drag it. OK. Let's drag this right This. Now let's move it down like this. It should be below happy birthday text all right so it's okay now let's change the opacity to 70 cents good all right now we are almost done but we are left with one more thing to do so head over to your shape tool right click on it and then select the rectangle tool now draw a straight line Just it. Great. Click on this guy. Now double click on it and then change the color to white. Click on OK. Now press on Ctrl plus J to duplicate and then move the other one to the right side like this. Great. Now press on Ctrl plus J again and then move the other one in the middle press on ctrl plus t and then right click on it and then change it to rotate 90 degrees clockwise all right and then toggle this guy and then move it up like this good just where we have our ruler guides good now that we have these shapes drawn like this 
I'm going to select all the four, sorry, the three shapes and then merge them together. So, if I select the first one, the first shape that we drew, and then hold, press and hold shift on our keyboard, and then select the third one, like this, to select um, multiple, two or more layers. And then right click on it, and then click on um, rasterize layers first. Right click on it again, and then click on merge layers. Now change the opacity to 50, like this. Good. Now head over to your view, and then click on clear canvas guide. Head over to your eraser tool, right click on it, and then select eraser tool. Now select the shape, and then get rid of these parts. Okay, do on this part. Click on here, E, delete this. Awesome. Now we can choose to reduce um, the opacity again to something like 30 or 40. Anyhow you want to. Now we are done with our flyer. Okay. Now from here you can go ahead and then add some color gradient to the images. So let's select the first image. Go to image, click on adjustments, and then click on hue and saturation. And then change the saturation to 15. Click on OK. Click on the second image. Alright. Now you should know that this is optional, but then I love adding um, saturation to my pictures anytime I um, work. So click on OK. Now if you've made it so far to this moment, thank you so much. And I would like for you to leave a comment, share your thoughts, give us a thumbs up, like this video, share it to whoever you, uh, you want and you need to share it too. Now at this moment, um, we can go ahead and then group our uh, layers, so select the very first layer which is the background, press and hold the shift and then select the top layer, now drag everything to the icon on it to group everything. Alright, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching this video.